Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome back. My name is Tess. Today's video is going to be a luxury Shantakai try on haul. Very, very excited to try all these products for you guys, and I hope you guys are excited too. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share it with your friends. And I would really, really appreciate that. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. You guys, I am very, very excited about today's video. I'm very, very. I don't know, like I, I don't know who am I anymore. I feel like a rich mom. Am I Michelle Wang? With that being said, you guys know we're going to try out some Shantakai products. Um, in Taiwan, it's one of those like definitely a rich mom's favorite. I've heard like some of my friends talk about it, but I never, I was never into luxury product. I'm just like not into it like that. Um, so today it will be my first of any Shantakai products and I kind of just like blacked out when I was on their site Very very excited about this blurring powder. I wanted it for the longest time Never really like bite the bullet to get this but we're here We're gonna try the blurring powder out and I'm gonna try out the real bronze Michelle Wan has been raving about. She absolutely love the bronzer. I've heard her talk about the bronzer a million times. Also, another start of the show is definitely this CD cushion that I'm like dying to try. One cushion that you bought that fee a baby elephant, a bottle of formula, which I love the philanthropic aspect of uh, Future Skin Cushion Foundation. I'm really beyond excited to try. I also got another powder just to try out. This is another Shantakai um, Eclatu face powder. Yeah, my bank account is definitely hurting after this. Yeah, I, I need to calm down with my luxury, luxury spending. Anyway, I'm so, so excited about these products and I can't wait to test them out for you. Let's jump right into it. Go into the Future Skin Cushion Foundation together. So it just comes in in a box. Oh, how cute is that? This is the packaging and there's a baby elephant. I love elephants, so cute. They're the cutest thing. So I got in the shade um, Vanilla. And I am really, really, really excited. That's how it opens up like a regular baby cushion. Let's see, this color is it even my color. Oh, this may be too dark. Hold on. Is it too dark? Well, oh, this might work. This is my work. This is my work. I have my sponge ready. Might be a little, just a tad bit dark for me. And I'm just gonna go in. I've heard nothing but really, really good thing about this cushion foundation. I'm very, very excited about this one. All right, my expectation is like definitely very, very high. You can even see how high it is. That's how high it is. I expect my skin to look like filter mannequin realness. That's my expectation right now. Actually, this shade can work. I actually like that this is not too pale for me. So that is good. I'm just gonna stick with the sponge today. Okay, okay. I feel like I, on camera, I can definitely see that poor blurring kind of effect. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. This is the side without, this is the side with, and it feels really thin. It feels like I have nothing on. That is so true. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna finish up this side. All right, so I am back. I kind of started to build it on a little bit around like my problem areas. Can I just say, I feel like there's absolutely nothing on my face right now. That's how I feel, which is the weirdest like feeling. You're kind of applying quite a bit, but can I say, I feel super filtered. Like, can you see like there's like that blurring aspect of this foundation? I'm like, oh my God, what? That's Zoom in and take a look. 
Uh, it's quite impressive because my nose was so dry. Earlier I was wearing, testing out the Pat McGrath foundation and the way it sits on my nose, it makes me look super duper textured. But this one, you can't really see the dryness on my nose, which is like amazing. It's not a dewy finish by all means, it is not a dewy finish. It is just like a, I would say a natural matte. It is definitely a lot more matte than I expected, but it feels like there's nothing on my skin. I just feel filtered and definitely feel covered. Wow, first impression, I'm impressed. And let's move on to the next thing. All right, the next thing that I got is this real bronze um, in the shade Serena. Really excited to see what it looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like. The color and the pattern looks absolutely gorgeous. I really like the pattern that they have. It looks so luxe. Let's touch it. Ooh, the color. It's like a, there is a glow to it. Wow, very pretty. All right, I'm gonna go into um, the Equal Tools Bronze bronzer brush. Yeah, let's go in and see. And there's no fallout. Let's see. I know I get an attitude, but when we may you caught a cue. It's like light. I feel like you can build it on off into the skin nicely. It looks super natural. It looks really really natural. You definitely need to like probably dip back in a couple more times. I don't know how I feel about this bronzer though. I feel like I need to go in with another brush just to finalize my thoughts. I'm just going to, I don't know, I got this brush from China, so I can't really tell you. There's no number or anything on it. I mean, I definitely see something. I see something on my face, but I just like, I'm not so sure because it feels like I had nothing on the face. The powder definitely feels very, very finely milled. It feels like something that you can't over apply. Okay, now I start to see the color coming. Okay. Alright, so this is the phase with the bronzer. It is a kind of bronzer I've never felt it before. It feels like powder is super duper finely milled. It kind of feels like I don't have bronzer on, but I do. It's a interesting feeling. Yeah, so far, I really don't know if it's $92 worth it, but I might have to go back and play with it some more and give you guys my final thoughts. Now let's move on to the most anticipated powder of all times, which is the Shantikai Blurring Powder. It is their Flower Powder Perfect Blurring Finishing Powder. I'm very, very excited. So again, it is the same design on the pen and it has a little bit of a color, light peachy kind of color. The packaging though, wow. I really, really like this packaging. It reminds me of like Marc Jacobs type of a retro vibes, stunning. Yeah, before I go in, I forgot. Let's go into another one of my really bougie uh, concealer. That is the Tom Four Motion Proof Concealer. I've been testing this one now, and so far I really, really enjoy this. I don't know who I am anymore. Like, who are you? And I'm gonna blend it out with the Sim Sponge. This concealer is like really long wearing. It's the texture is very, very thin too. And it's very long wearing, which I love. Now let's use the powder. I'm very, very excited. Let's do one side first. So I'm just gonna take a powder brush. Am I gonna be amazed or am I gonna be underwhelmed? I'm a little nervous. All right. Let's What? 
All right, let me zoom you guys in. Whoa. I totally see a difference. Can you guys see a difference? Wow. Okay, this powder. Wow. Wow, that is beautiful. Holy crap. All right, let's, let's dust that on my fine lines. See if it kind of blurs it. What the hell? Can you guys tell the difference though? Cause I can't. That is insane. That is beautiful. This is such a good powder. $84, it better be a good powder, but wow. All right, so this is the side with the powder and this is the side without. Like we have to test this powder out with a different foundation because I feel like the foundation already has that blurring aspect for sure. But wow, look at this side and this side. Like up close, I can see a difference. Can you guys tell? Do comment down below, let me know. All right, I just finished applying blurring powder on this side as well. Can I tell you my skin looks sublime. I'm very, very pleased with that. All right, next let's go into this bougie powder. This is very bougie too. Um, this is the Eclat Du face powder. So this is what the powder looks like. There is like a pearly kind of a sheen to it. So now let's go into this powder to kind of buff that on, let's say this side of my face and see if there's any difference. Let's go into the powder really quickly and we shall apply to the pore area just to see. I'm not sure if it's doing anything, but it seems like on camera, it seems like it's doing something. Maybe kind of brighten this area a little bit. So this is the side without the powder. This is the side with the powder. Try to highlight with it and see what happens. Just highlighting and see what happens. Oh yeah, I see it. There is definitely that pearly sheen to it. Wow, I feel like this on mature skin should do wonders. If you have mature skin, I feel like you would enjoy this type of a subtle, like soft focus, like glowy, a little glowy, not a whole lot, but very subtle glow. I'm not so sure if I love it on here. I mean, I feel like in comparison, I prefer this side without the um, Eclat powder. I do feel like it does brings out a little bit of a natural sheen. Not aggressive, but very soft. Okay guys, so this is the face for today. It's actually have been like five hours. I have to, you know, regroup for a little bit and finish off the makeup. Um, I kind of went back to this palette. I have not reached for this like at all. So I kind of rediscover like out of every thing in this palette, this shade right here is actually quite beautiful. This is what I have as a topper. It kind of reminds me of the Instant Look of Love. That shadow is from Instant Look of Love and this is from the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize. So they have the very similar quality, which I like. I love the fact that it's more glittery. It kind of gives it like a pop. Yeah, the rest of the eyeshadow, just as I remember, it's just quite all right. Nothing very super revolutionary, but I do enjoy the shade though. This shade is a good one and done kind of a thing. And that is quite beautiful. Other than the eyes, 
for the face, I use Nation Rose from M. And on top of it, I kind of went in with um, Charlotte Tilbury Hollow Flawless Filter. Yeah, for my lips today, I went in Wedding Bells, the lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. I want to keep it really luxury, really bougie today. So I use all the pretty much my luxury makeup. So actually, like, I love my skin today, which is surprising. Earlier, I was testing out another foundation that make my skin look not the best, especially around my nose. It just, like, made my skin look extremely textured and dried. That was a really expensive foundation as well. And as soon as I put this foundation on, it just like smooths out the skin. It blurs my pores. You know what I feel? I feel like I'm in, you know that HBA show Westworld? This baby cushion just like really gives me that future mannequin skin. Welcome to Westworld where you feel like covered but it is very very lightweight i've never felt something this lightweight in my life you almost just like don't feel anything on your skin which is like kind of wild at the same time it's doing something on the skin yeah i mean 128 dollars i'm a little scared that it might become one of my favorites um that's a lot of money to spend 128 dollars who am i becoming this is weird i'll definitely be going back to this for a couple more times and give you guys my final review then let's quickly chat about this powder this powder like i didn't expect myself to actually like it this much uh, you can see there's a little bit of a glow on my nose uh, let's go ahead and powder it and see if it can knock off the shine i forgot if i highlight it with something else Maybe I have, but yeah, it definitely knocks, knocks out the shy for sure. And it is so light. It feels really, really light, light in texture. It feels light and you don't really feel like you're applying something, but it just gives you that filter. It just like gives you that filter effect, which is insane to me, like how it blurs the pores. It is true, it does blur. It's probably the most blurring in the powder. Comparing to the one from Charlotte Tilbury, you can forget about the Charlotte Tilbury. Like that is nothing in my book. This is potentially being a new favorite of mine. And that is scary to think, $84, again, is very, very pricey. Also, just so you guys know, this is only my first impression. Wait for a second video if you're interested in knowing that. And then let's chat about the bronzer. This texture, again, is something that I never felt before. It's very, very light in texture. It doesn't even feel like I have anything on the skin. It doesn't feel like I have anything. That's why I always keep on like applying and applying, but this color does build up really, really nicely. It doesn't look chunky on the skin. It almost feels like I have absolutely nothing on the skin, but it kind of just like gives you that really natural bronzy airbrush type of a look, which I do enjoy, but I'm not so sure if $78 is something that I'm looking to pay for a bronzer. You know, like my trusty Physicians Formula is really good in my book. So this is like around 10 to $15. This is like $78. I don't know exactly if I'm willing to pay for this, but I do see why people love it. It is a beautiful formula. It's something that I never felt before. I do feel like I need to play around with it a little more to give you guys my final thoughts. I don't know if that price tag for a bronzer is something that I'm willing to pay just yet. As far as this powder goes, I do feel like this powder may not be something that I necessarily am looking for for my daily routine. It is 92 doll hairs, very, very extremely expensive. I don't know if this is something that I necess necessarily need for my routine, you know? I feel like this powder is very, very good. This is just something that it kind of gives your skin that really natural glow, but then again, Hourglass can do the same or some other powder can do the same thing. 
I don't necessarily feel like $92 is something that I'm willing to pay for a glowy powder. Yeah, I have to test it out again, probably not with this foundation. I feel like this foundation is a really amazing base for me today. A lot of product kind of goes on really beautifully. So I can't quite judge this powder yet. I have to test them separately and give you guys another review of each product for sure. Remember that this is just a first impression, maybe because my base is looking so good you know i might have been blind to these products there's no denying there's something special about these two that's for sure the rest i need to give it a day or two to test it out separately and let you guys know and that's it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed today's rich mom michelle wang inspired luxury try it on i don't even know who i am anymore like let me go back to my drugstore videos real soon. But anywho, I really hope that you guys enjoy today's video. If you do, I would really, really love for you to subscribe. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.